Will from Bad Enough Dudes here, speaking with Greg Kasavim from Super Giant Games, talking about Bastion. So, uh, what can you tell us about the game? Uh, well, it's our first game as a studio. Uh, in spite of the name uh, Super Giant Games, we're just seven guys in a living room of a house in San Jose, California. Uh, we used to work at companies like uh, Electronic Arts and Infinity Ward, and we left uh, to go do something a little more personal. Um, and that game is, is Bastion. It's an original action RPG where uh, we have this uh, we have this narrator who's who's kind of uh, responding to your every move all throughout the game. It's it sounds kind of unusual, but we get a really good response from people who actually play it and get a feel for it. Because um, it's a, it, for us, it's been a really fun way to to give the game a story, kind of a heart and soul. Um, because uh, we uh, the way we got to it is like we didn't want the story to ever interrupt the play experience. So he's he's there. Uh, uh, talk, uh, help, helping to talk through uh, talk through uh, everything you do in the game, and it's a much more action-oriented game than most action RPGs are. It's more about like uh, near misses, you know, uh, counter systems, and and kind of even some kind of fighting game influence on the on the gameplay and controls. So, um, so what can you tell us about the story of the game? The story setup is uh, there's a lot of mystery when you first begin playing. You you wake up to discover that your entire world uh, has been shattered to pieces, um, but it's reconstituting itself uh, as you navigate through the world uh, for reasons uh, that become uh, clearer as you play. Um, you're making your way to a location called the Bastion where your people were supposed to go in case anything went wrong, but the only person you find there is an old man who believes he has the power to set everything right. Uh, and uh, so you join forces with him in order to find the materials that you need uh, to, to realize the Bastion's true power. That's the basic setup. Um, of course, uh, hopefully it's a lot more interesting than I just made it sound uh, by virtue of the narration style because uh, it's all kind of being, you're, you're constantly unraveling the backstory of finding kind of the greater meaning in your actions through this narrator. Um, obviously as an interesting gameplay where the level in essence forms around you as you play. Can you go into how you guys came up with that idea? Yeah, uh, the idea of the world coming together around you uh, came from uh, came from the idea that we wanted to make an action RPG where um, we didn't want you to be staring at a map the entire time. There are a lot of action RPGs that look really cool, but all your, you hit the tab key or whatever and get your map overlay, and you're just staring at the map the entire time. And we think like using maps in games is not really, it's kind of gross. You're like trying to orient yourself at stuff. So. We came up with this technique of the world forming up around you to help kind of guide you along. Um, and then uh, we, we, liked, we liked what it did. We also liked what, what it did visually because we wanted to have an isometric aim, uh, but we wanted you to be able to see the sky. We're like, how can you see the sky when you're looking down at the ground? We're like, how about the whole world is shattered? Um, so we built it into the game world and, and kind of wrapped uh, the entire story around that idea, but it came from like a, des uh, uh, a design solution to those problems. Perfect. And uh, when are you planning on releasing the game? Uh, Bastion uh, is uh, part of, announced as part of Summer of Arcade, so that starts on uh, July 20th. Um, so it'll be coming to Xbox 360 somewhere between uh, late July, late August, uh, somewhere within that window, and coming to PC la later this year as well. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, from Bad Enough Dudes, signing out.